Hi everyone, welcome. If you're new here, I'm so happy to have you. And if you're my previous and subscribers, welcome to Diet Baby Dinosaurs. And so uh, for today's video, this is uh, all about the 2020 Red and Blue Map uh, investigation. They are investigating it. I put the link below in case you want to go find out where the source is from. This is a pre-recorded on January 27th, 2021 at 4 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. It is about to be 5 a.m. in less than 10 minutes from now. But anyway, uh, the main point of this is I am nominating someone for my Celestial Kindness campaign, and it's Joyce All-Knowing Tarot. I'll put her uh, link in the description below. Go to her, uh, all you have to do is go to her page. Either comment something nice about the actual tarot reader, or comment very someone something very nice to someone in um, the comment section and just compliment them. Just say something nice. Let's raise the vibration of our community. Let's play our part because we're all in one. We are in unity. And so without wasting your time, I want to jump right into it. I am in surgery and I'm recovering. So this is being pre-recorded. You guys have something to watch. All right, so now please keep in mind that this is just for entertainment purposes only and for educational purposes only as well. <clears throat> YouTube. Anyway, let's jump into the main point of this. If you guys want to find out what I will be covering in this video, check in the description below. You'll find all the content, everything you need in the description. So let's not waste your time. All right, Spirits and Angels tell me, did any current or former department officials make an improper attempt to seek to alter the result of the 2020 blue and red map? Okay. Yep. Okay, so here we have it here. We have the Republican Party. This is all, except one of them is not a major icon. We have here the Republican Party trying to do trickery and deceit. We have here as well, we have the Lovers card, and I just saw 232 not too long ago. We have here the Lovers card, Joe Biden and Kamala Harris with the presidency, and they wanted to betray him. So yes, there was an improper attempt to do this to go against the Biden and Harris administration, particularly because of racism against uh, Kamala Harris, Vice President Kamala. So it does look like there was an attempt and it looks like this is gonna be an investigation that's gonna be open for quite a while. So let's just take a more deeper internal look. Okay, what will they find on President T failed attempt to oust then Attorney General Jeff Rosen so that he could launch a probe of alleged voter fraud in the peace state. So Spears saying will tell you about this. What will they find? Okay. Okay, again, we have here, we have, you know, the decision with the state, it was a swing state in the 2020 um, red and map, blue map. We have here Biden and Kamala Harris won it. They won the state. We have here, it's a big loss for the Republican Party. But also, I saw recordings here, and it's going to be about him fighting. So there's going to be more information being revealed to the public. Oh, honey, what you just what you saw the past couple of weeks was just the surface level. Wait till they find out real stuff that actually went on. And we have here, it's gonna really, really damage the image. So there is something going on here. Okay, will Congressman Scott Perry of Pennsylvania be investigated and outed, ousted from office for trying to do teeth bed? So let's take a look. Spirit Angel will tell me, will Congressman Scott Perry of Pennsylvania be ousted for his investigation and wrongdoing to help Donald Trump? Okay, so we have here a challenge here. We have the considering it is, is something to consider. We have here whether or not it's going to be some sort of balance, but a bipartisanship, they need some sort of bipartisanship agreement. And we have here the card came and it was challenged. So it looks like a big yes. And it's for government, government standing, setting up for um, non corrupted government transparency. Okay. So what is the Justice Department role in this, and how will the investigation be handled in an attempted wrongdoing? Now, basically what they're saying is that the Justice, uh, Justice Department 
played a major role in, at least trying to play a major role in overturning a rifle of uh, red and blue results in the peace state, so to speak. And so what they want to do, they kind of want to overturn it. And it's illegal, first of all. And second, they want to see how was this even capable or how were they able to do something like this. So let's take a look. Spears and Angel, Tommy, what is the Justice Department role in this? And how will the investigation be handled for any attempted wrongdoing against the Justice Department in the peace state? We have here, it's going to go to the Supreme Court. Joe Biden is going to play a role in it. And we have here, it's going to be a lot of evidence stacked up. And it's the end of the hour. So it is, looks like it is going to be the end of an hour for the current Justice Department in the peace state. If you don't know what that is, it's the, it's the state below South Carolina. All right, so she tried to install a... Assistant Attorney General Clark as a new acting Attorney General to help do his bid. What happened here? Spears and Angels, tell me about this. Assistant Attorney General Clark, Donald Trump wanted to assign Assistant Attorney General Clark. Okay, a lot of cards flew out. We have here is the lack of money from the Trump campaign, the lack of money, and ability to be able to bribe people. And we have here it was a binding contract with the with um the the presidency, the election commission as well. It's a binding contract, so they couldn't even um uh, do anything if they wanted to. Um, they would have revolted. They would have went against the the norms here, but they had a lot of things going for it. And here's the Republican Party, and they were betrayed. So again, they all that really is is that they're worried about. Looking so bad, they even lost the state of the peace state that Biden won. By now, I'm arguing, but still, again, it's the first Democrat to win that state since the 90s. So it is quite astonishing and quite victorious, to say the least. Okay. Will this investigation be successful and will they find anything troubling? Will this investigation be successful? Okay, so we have here a lot of information is being shown behind the scene. We don't know about yet. We have here the are some sort of balance. So they are finding information. Soon it's going to be presented to the court. And when it gets presented to the court, the public's going to know about it. And it's going to happen pretty soon. So it does look like there will be information that is going to be revealed very soon. All right, let's see. Will this lead to an investigation into 2016? Because of this investigation, uh, the red and blue map in 2020, will this lead to the red and blue map investigation of 2016? Yep. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. I always saw this coming up again here. We have my popular vote loser or popular vote winner, but loses the electoral college. We have here the electoral college reverse. We have here votes being hidden, votes being bound. It's on record. They're going to find it. And they're going to declare that Clinton was the rightful elected legitimate president. He is Trump is a fraud. And that she actually got handed the presidency. And that it's going to be like almost like a blow to Trump's ego. And we have two more questions, and then we're done for today. Will they find any sort of voter? Broad and in the blue of my map. Let's see. Will they find any of sort of voter fraud in any of the blue red map? So here we have here the eight the ace of sword, which is the yes card is also taking a knife and shoving it through the incumbent. So yes, it will it'll go against Trump if anything. We have here election and again, like I said, this is my election card. And this is the voter, the popular vote winner losing the electoral college. So, yes, they will find something along those lines. And there's going to be a lot of information. Um, again, information being found. I talked about this in a lot of my videos before um, the, the red and blue map happened. That I said that Texas, you know, all those states, you know, Florida, Ohio, Iowa, are going to be found some sort of fraud, uh, so to speak. And... Um, some of them will be overturned. 
Oh, they were going to the Supreme Court. All right, will they launch a nationwide investigation, statewide spring state investigation? So let's see. Because of this information, will they launch a nationwide investigation into the red and blue map? We have here, yes, they have plenty of information. They don't know what uh, Trumpy got all his votes from. So yes, nationwide, they look like they will. So let's take a little bit more of a deeper look. Will it be statewide investigation into the red and blue map? We have here, this is my looking at election night, right? This is also um, the certification of the votes. Yes, it does look like they will be doing investigation statewide as well. And will they be doing investigation and spring state investigation into the red and blue map for the spring state investigation? We have here Joe Biden at first. So they're going to do it in states that Joe Biden did not win by a large margin. So like Texas, um, Ohio, Iowa, stuff like that, Florida. Like I was saying earlier, that look like that's what's going to end up playing out. So um, I do hope you guys like this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and the bell icon for more content such as this. I love you guys. Don't forget to send out the person that nominated for the uh, Celestial Kind of Campaign some love and sweet love. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. I love you, and I'll see you very soon. Bye.